Hey everybody, this is a real quick product review video, I guess, for the DJI SDR transmission system. Uh, I myself went out one day to my church building and documented these results just so that I would have them for future uh, when I need to go back and look at it down the road to see how, how good the distance was, um, how good the quality was, and all that stuff. Uh, all the reviews I've been seeing online really show you how well this system works in a studio setting so like 10 15 20 feet apart from each other but the work that I do mostly live event stuff on a stage inside an auditorium is what I really wanted to test with this video uh, or with this system rather to see if I can shoot through concrete walls uh, multiple concrete walls uh, long distances uh, so I went ahead and just did a little uh, review and the results that I got back were pretty amazing and I would be remiss not to share with everyone else who might be looking for this exact same kind of application. So that's what this video is. Uh, this is just a video of some of my results that I got when I was testing this system and I hope it helps you. It certainly helped me. I think I found a really good system to use for my uh, live HD transmission indoor uh, for event videography and uh, stuff like that. So take a watch, uh, tell me what you think, and then test it out yourself. And maybe just a quick caveat to make, the reason why I'm trying to get this HD system up and running is uh, usually when I do live events, uh, I'm filming from, for example, a stage, and I'm sending a live feed to maybe a dressing room so that they know when their opportunity is to come on stage. Uh, I also set up order tables, so I send a live feed to the order table uh, so maybe when a baby starts crying or something and they come out into the auditorium, they can still watch the live feed from inside. So not necessarily for uh, recording purposes, the other end of the HD feed. So if I get buffering and mild artifacts, I'm totally okay with that because really I'm just trying to uh, send a live feed so that others can watch the, uh, the event that's taking place. And just as a reference point, this is in the auditorium on the stage. This is where all the feed starts and comes from. That is the uh, receiver. And then you got the transmitter up there showing what cameras are on. A is turned off, B is on, that's your signal. And then uh, we got the camera over there shooting out the window, getting the car traffic that ends up being this shot. So um, this close together between the both of them, uh, this is what you're reading for a super strong 19.9. Uh, yeah, so 20 megabytes per second is going to be your 20.3 is going to be your highest uh, rating reading. So when we are out there in the woods getting 2.0, that's just a reference of what the signal strength may have been. But this is where it starts as the camera feed. And that's out there is where I was shooting out in the woods in the old building. But uh, yeah. All right, this is insane. I am now using the new DJI SDR transmitter for wireless HD video feed. This is the feed that I have going right now in the new building on the stage, looking out the window just so I can get some motion. Uh, of cars, making sure it's not pixelated and stopped. Here comes a car, I think, here soon. I hear it in the background. I am outside. So right there, perfect motion. This is what the re receiver is getting. Uh, two orange bar, 1.7 megabit, so not super strong, but look where I am. Holy cow. That is absurd from the stage in the new building all the way out here. So this is just a quick video of showing the exact distance and all the walls that I had to go through uh, from the stage out to the position where I was. So it's outside of a building and then outside, then way at the back of a tree line of the old building. I then used the iPhone uh, measuring app uh, to get a good distance check. And surprisingly, it worked really well. It just uh, captured from where the camera was and uh, made sure to keep a steady line all the way to where I was standing. And that app ended up coming up with about, uh, what is that, 230 feet, 230 feet. So then I also double, wanted to double check, so I whipped out the, uh, the Google Maps app and did the, as the crow flies, uh, from where, rough estimate, where the camera was sitting inside the building and then drew a line to the very back of the yard. 
uh, to hopefully get kind of a, a baseline, maybe uh, to see how close we are. Uh, surprisingly, it is. It came out to about 216 feet versus the 230. To be getting 60 frames per second HD video. And it's actually streaming, it's not buffering. That is crazy. And I'm not using any antennas or anything. That's just from the receiver from the transmitter. Holy cow. That's pretty awesome. All right, this is probably your worst case scenario, not being outside in the open, but instead in the downstairs basement through all these concrete walls and through upstairs. Same scenario here from the main stage where the camera is looking out the window. Uh, get an idea of everything I was shooting through one wall there, two wall, the main building, uh, three walls on the other building, uh, upstairs, stairwell, concrete, all the way downstairs to the basement that's completely concrete. Uh, so not your ideal condition. I am still seeing motion right there. Maybe not full 1080. This is what the receiver's getting. Um, only 1.9 megabytes per second. Usually a really super strong is like 20 megabytes, but that's right around two meg and it is not, I see a little pixelation. This camera doesn't do it justice, but that is completely watchable still. I mean, it's not skipping a beat. And again, this is where we are. I can't think of a worse situation uh, in terms of going through walls and things to test. All right, so this is interesting to note. The receiver is showing no signal. Well, every once in a while, we're talking 0 0.1 to 2 megabyte. So this is, I mean, this is in the middle of the hallway. So we're talking walls everywhere, I guess. However, on the video, you're still getting movement. <laughs> It's pixelated to all in, but um, to be able to see a screen and get an idea of what's going on, even when that's showing no signal, I'll take it. I will freaking take it. Zero signal, zero megabytes transmitting, but we're still getting, uh, okay. Same scenario here for reference. I just wanted to get a baseline of the distance that the uh, transmission was happening. That showed about 144 feet through uh, Google Maps as the crow flies. Uh, then I whipped out the measuring app again on my iPhone and ran a line uh, from the stage uh, to upstairs and that came out to be 143 feet or so. So again, pretty accurate, pretty on the nose. The uh, final test that I wanted to do for the day, just as kind of a laughing matter, not thinking it would work at all, was uh, shooting from the stage and the building all the way out to a little woods nature area that we have for camping and whatnot on the stage. So I set the camera out there and I uh, used my measuring app again along with uh, Google. This one maybe had the highest variance, but I mean, to give it credit, I was going quite a distance. And on the Google Maps, I had to pick a tree basically to mark on, so maybe it wasn't that accurate. But for uh, for for show, it looks like maybe around 430 feet or so. So uh, that's kind of the the rough estimate. Okay, this this is straight bonkers. I am now in the middle of the woods, on the stage, <laughs> uh, out here in our little nature area, and I am getting a little bit of pixelation, but camera the footage is still streaming not as much pixelation as down in the basement that's for sure and this is what the receiver is oh, went dark this is what the receiver so 1.6 megabytes per second and we got two bars there out of five we're in the yellow so definitely pushing it uh but here we are <laughs> here we are in the woods the camera all the way on the stage in the new building, and I'm still able to pull a signal. There was no chance in that happening on that other system. I don't know what DJI is putting into these things. Well, these are dual bands, so they're five gigahertz and 2.4, and they use some kind of proprietary SDR technology they're talking about. Um, so whatever that is, 
it's working. I cannot believe I'm getting a wireless HD feed out here in the woods. I hear a big truck coming down the road. Let's see what it looks like. Unbelievable. From the stage in the new building. Okay, I'm sold. Ta-da, we have a winner. So after I was able to do all my tests at the church building, I was able to go to one of the schools that I film at quite often and set the devices up and just make sure in a real life type scenario that it would work. Uh, the results were basically the exact same, if not better, because I wasn't going nearly as far. Uh, but just knowing that I'd be able to shoot through walls and mini walls just as well uh, really, really was terrific. All right, this is the very back corner of the room, all the way to the stage, transmitting an HD signal, no buffering. Uh, the antenna looks like it's transmitting at a 13.5, which again, 25 meg is right next to the pole. Uh, it bumps around down to four to eight, but not losing any signal or uh, pixelation. And that's through all the walls from in here to the stage. All right, and that's basically it. Again, that was all the footage that I shot while I was product testing this device. And uh, I really felt that it would be helpful to put it out to the world uh, so that you could see it too. A lot of really good results. I'm super impressed with this system, kind of mind blown actually. And uh, I can't wait to use it on a couple of the next uh, real life events that I'm doing. Uh, so again, hope it helped and hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you later. Keep shooting.